Hello, I'm Seth with Land of House. Thanks for tuning in to the vlog. For the past few weeks, I have been working on building an Archimedes turbine, which is an auger sitting inside of a pipe that will hopefully uh, generate a little bit of electricity. So today, Em and I are going to hike up the mountain, which is right here. And uh, I should be able to get about 200 feet of drop within about 1,200 feet of distance, uh, according to the maps. That point was from right here at the tiny house up the mountain. So we're going to go for a little hike, bring you along, and uh, see what the waterway looks like for this summer's project of micro hydro. Um, so we'll also bring the drone out and fly over here so you kind of get a representation of what 1200 feet looks like as we hike along. Okay, we're about 200 feet in from the road and uh, let's go over here and take a look at the creek so far, see what kind of flow rate we have. I'm anticipating about uh, between 50 and 100 gallons per minute. Um, pretty much year round. You can do it. Just step right over that little stick. Ta-da! <laughs> you did it. Good job. <laughs> um, we've had a bit of a rain in the past couple of days, so there is a bit more water than usual, but it is uh, flowing pretty good. So even from where we're standing right now down to the flume, We've already got at least uh, 10 feet of drop already, so it is climbing pretty quick. And you can see, it may be a little bit flat for you right now, but uh, from here to right up there is already about six feet. So uh, it drops pretty quick up here the further we um, move away from the road. So Emma and I are just gonna keep walking up here and I'll show you um, little bits as we go along. The Archimedes turbine is an idea I had for the property from years ago and so I've really been wanting to complete that. It's just a fun project. It's not going to make much power but the micro hydro I'm working with or going to work with in the summer should produce a whole lot more and uh, I'm kind of getting the idea from Joe Malovic. He's a longtime subscriber of the channel. If uh, I remember there's a link to his channel in the description down below. You should go check out his work. So I think up here a ways, the creek splits and then comes back together. Um, so there's this section here, which has quite a good bit of flow rate. And then there's uh, right over this little hill is the other side of the creek. Um, so we'll be following that mostly. Um, we may go over on this side up here also, but most of what we want is over there. Several vlogs ago I brought you up here for a look at my neighbor's attempt at a water wheel. It uh, was swollen and didn't work very well. He just had uh, some PVC pipe or metal pipe I guess it is coming from right up here um, just flowing into it. But uh, anyway he's gonna have to do some reworking of this project to get it to work. But even this little drop right here is uh, four feet or so. So we are very quickly climbing up the mountain. So as far as distance goes, uh, the house, I don't know if you can see it, it's right in there. Um, we are, I don't know, 500 feet or so. So I still wanna go about 700 more feet up the hill here and see what kind of drop we've got. So back there I mentioned that the creek on this side had split off from this one. Here's where that happens. This is the, uh, hillside creek. You can see the water flow there is decent. It's all trickling off from this little split right here. Some of it goes that way, some or most of it goes this way. So what I would do is tap my input from up above this split here. We'll walk a little bit more and uh, see what kind of flow rate we have before it uh, splits. Um, whenever we fly the drone, uh, you see this, I don't know if you can see it or not, there's some black plastic up here. It's a, an erosion barrier. That's kind of my marker. Also, if you stare into the sun here, my neighbor's place is right up here. So that can also be our reference when we fly the drone of where this split happens. And uh, we can actually use the drone to get the distance that is flown out. 
so we know just how far we're going because on the maps it said 1200 feet um, but we'll know this way how much it actually is but anyway we'll walk up maybe another couple of feet here and see what we get because this is getting really steep for little miss emma okay right there is where it splits and we are back up here i bet i could uh, capitalize on some of these small waterfalls along here to get our uh, intake like right up in there let me zoom in very slowly you see right there is a nice little waterfall but anyway from here it just climbs up really quick but i think there is less and less water also um, so anyway i think we're gonna head back because it's getting a little bit cold out here but um our reference point will be where the two creeks come back together with the drone so um anyway let's go home Okay, I've got the DJI Mavic Mini out on top of the car here. Let's see if we can go ahead and fly up here and get some more information. I've got to install an update here. See how long this is going to take. Okay, time to fly up. All right, pushing the record button. There we go. So I'm gonna fly up to just above the tree line here. Looks like Ashley's coming home. All right, I'm gonna turn the gimbal down. Okay, we're at uh, zero feet. Let's fly out here. So I came back out after the angle of the sun had decreased more, so it was easier to see down into the trees. And uh, I flew out a approximately 1200 feet um, to the place where we had measured uh, walked up to and um, if I go up further than like another 200 feet I can get another uh, 100 foot drop but I think it's gonna be too far for my pin stock so the plan is if I can go up the a thousand feet um, and get roughly 220 feet of head pressure um, that will put the end of the turbine over past the tiny house about uh, 100 feet um, so basically the electrical would have to come 330 feet from over there to the corner of the house over here um, so here is the mathematics that i've kind of got um, so um my longtime subscriber um, joe malavik if you haven't watched his micro hydro videos, definitely do that. Um, link in the description. So he was saying if I have 50 gallons per minute, which I think I've got, there's some deer over here, um, times your head pressure. I'm going to go ahead and calculate that there is going to be 20 PSI lost. So um, I've got in the distance I've measured, Google Maps says 220 feet of head pressure. So let's just say 50 times 200 is 10,000 times 0.18. I'm not sure what that number is, but it, he said it to include it. Um, it gives me uh, 1,800 watts of potential. So he was saying if your turbine is, if the whole system is 50% efficient, you would say divided by two is 900 watts. Let's see, um, 900 times 24 hours is uh, 21 kilowatts. So if you said 21 times 30 days is 630 kilowatts times 12 cents, I think that's what I paid here, um, $75 a month would be the savings on our power bill. Um, so in a year's time, it's over $700. So that should be um, able, so basically in two years, I should be able to pay off the whole system and then it would just be bringing in money after that. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.
Bye. <laughs> Diaper.